guys. Hey guys, how's it going? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Got Chef Ari in here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be chefing it up. It's all me. You don't, you don't have to, you're not doing anything today. You're, you're the camera woman. Can I eat at least? I'll think about it, depending on how the cooking goes. <laughs> so we have very busy lives and we rarely make food for ourselves. When we do, we actually usually make a video out of it. And you guys have seen my awkward cooking abilities, but this time I'm gonna Sorry. take charge and I'm gonna make something for my dear Anya here. So yes, it's going squeezy. To be vegan? Mine is, yours is definitely not going Good. to be. All right, um, that's right. Something like homemade romantic dinner. And I have been thinking about it for like a week. So I have some efficiency ideas and probably some of them will work out. So probably those that will work out, you can use in your own cooking adventures. Can I give instructions? No. Okay. All me. Sure. Let's get started. <laughs> All right. So first thing, we're gonna make pasta. So we got this pasta from like uh, a fancy store some time ago. It's fusilli pasta. Pasta arigantale. Fusilioni. Wow. Um, yeah. It's probably pretty good. I like fusilli, but usually the fusilli that I have is a lot smaller. It's like the store bought stuff. Yeah. This is a little bit fancier. Typically, the fancier stuff is better, like 70% of the time, not 100% of the time. What so, is, uh, what's the ingredients in this? Okay, the ingredients, what do we have for ingredients? Uh, durum wheat, semolina, and water. That's it. Okay. Cooking time, eight to nine minutes. That's not so bad. Yep. Is Should it? be good. Okay. Next thing, we're gonna make everything gourmet. Of course. So, we have some tomatoes that are going bad pretty soon. So these are gonna be gourmet tomato sauce. Well, this is from Costco, you got a whole bunch that way. These are pretty good. So we're gonna do that. And there's one thing, before I went vegan, I've been vegan for like, is it six years now? I think it's six years now. Uh, six, yeah. Six years now, and some change probably. Anyway, so, um, one thing I used to really like, spicy salami. Not just spicy salami. I used to like pan-fried spicy salami. Oh, mm, sounds very, very vegan. Yeah, and when Ranya makes <clears throat> when Ranya makes those um, like paninis that you sometimes do, um, sometimes it gets a little bit burned on the sides, mm. and you get that fried salami smell, which oh, it no gave reason. me the inspiration. Okay. Let me gave me the reminder to try to make or something with that. So this is your non-vegan side, and we're going to cover your pasta in like Parmesan cheese. I think, is it in the fridge? Yes. I think we have like a on the left. Parmesan cheese dry thing somewhere here. Yes. Oh, is this thing? Yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna use up like half of this. Okay. Maybe. And the other greens are gonna be pretty um, like spice related things. So th these, these are actually the main ingredients that we're gonna use. Um, but here's my plan, okay? Just so you guys know what's up. And it's all me, you have no say in this. You can just say if it's good or not. Sure. And maybe you can lie. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Um, so, I wanna cook the pasta. I wanna use pre-boiled water because it's a lot faster and you can like shock it. You know the water's boiled. I hate it when it's like, oh, it's like kind of boiling but it's not really boiling. Let's just wait a little bit longer and then it's kind of boiling and it's not really. I'm just gonna put it in the boiling water thing. It's gonna be boiling. We're gonna do the pasta efficient. And then uh, I want to do the homemade sauce in the blender, but typically when we make the soups with the blender, uh, we use boiling water, but obviously we don't want to add water to sauce. We have, it has to be relatively thick. So we're gonna to have to cook the sauce in a pan after we blend it all up. Sounds good. And then we're gonna to have to fry the salami in a separate pan because it's not vegan. Otherwise, I'd probably, to increase the efficiency, I'd probably fry the salami in the pan and then cook the sauce on top of it. You wouldn't, please don't tell me you wouldn't blend the salami. I'm not blending the salami. Okay. No, but I'm saying if, if I wasn't vegan, okay. I, would, I would make it even more efficient Good. otherwise, so. Okay. Okay, let's get stuff. So I'm gonna get the blender ready here because um, I think I might have to get the sauce ready on short notice, so. Because these tomatoes are a little bit old, I'm going to be pretty loose in cutting off the trimmings. Some of these are okay, but some of these are a little bit soft. 
See, when you have like soft tomatoes like these, eh, you don't have to be too picky. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Of course, you have to wash everything. Okay. And then we have our homemade pickled gourmet peppers from our greenhouse. These are very hot. That I can open because I'm a strong man. Strong, independent man that can open all the jars in the house. Do you need help? Uh. <laughs> Use the seat. Okay, okay, see, there we go. Okay. No problem. All that gaming that I do contributes to a very good uh, torque on my, on my arm. Um, now, these things are like super well pickled, so we could probably just put the whole thing in there, but I like to. Uh, hold on, let me. I'm gonna put it in there for now, but I'm gonna take it out. These are really good, actually. What do we make these with? It was just uh, water and salt, right? Yep. No, vinegar and salt, sorry. Uh, Vin vinegar, sorry, yes, vinegar and vinegar salt. Vinegar and salt. They're not exactly pickled, they're just preserved vinegar. vinegar and salt. So we're gonna take off the end there, put that in, and then we have some additives. Uh, okay, so let's just put the standard stuff, a little bit of pepper, this is similar to making a soup, but it's not going to be quite like that. Oh, no, that's pleb salt. We don't want to do that. I want to put the Himalayan salt. Oh, very hipster. Mm -hmm. Probably need that for the pasta, so we'll leave that out. And we got this, like, dried onion thing. It's not exactly gourmet, but whatever. I, chopping onions is a pain, so whatever. Let's put some onions in there. And we can put some like uh, herbal salt. Basically, this is all like dried vegetables and they're like salty, but it's kind of like fake salt. I have to say, too much salt, right? And then it's pasta. Did you see, guys, we are salt experts in this house. So we have to add some garlic, maybe a little bit more than normal. You can probably chop it up and stuff, but who has time for that? And I know Rania really likes. Uh, Oregano. Yes. Or oregano. Oregano. Is it oregano for you? I'm not sure. I think for most people watching it's oregano and they get really peeved when we say oregano. Uh, is, it, is it the same when you say herbs? Yeah, probably. Let's put a general, generous amount there. Thank you. We're mostly making this for you. I know you don't like it very much. I don't like oregano very much. Thank you so much. Okay. I and um, I think that's good enough for the sauce, honestly. Okay. Oh, no, very important. Whenever you are mixing a whole bunch of like veggies with other things, you want to add some balsamic. The balsamic just makes everything better and it makes it blend. So that's what we're going to do here. And it's pasta, so we're going to add a generous amount there. Mmm, homemade sauce. It smells pretty good. Of course it does. Okay. So let's clean up a little bit here. And we will get started on the actual cooking of things. Okay, so let's get everything laid out now. Let's get all the cookware. So we're gonna need... We're gonna need like a strainer. That's good enough. I think we used another one before, but whatever. We have another one up there. Yes. Some kind of saucepan that looks like it'll hold that. Did you need two saucepans? Oh yeah, I need one saucepan and one... Um, Sneaky vegan, he was trying to make me eat the vegan One sauce. salami frying pan. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna get the bigger one so we can just do that all in one here. Alright. And we need the vessel for the actual pasta. Just the boiling part of it. Okay. Pasta here, and I'm gonna to try to speed it up once again by uh, boiling the water ahead of time. We do this for the soups, and it seems to be good. So let's do it. We can get that started. We have a close inspection on the pasta while we're waiting for the boil here. Smells like absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Not very encouraging. Yeah. 
smells like pasta. It's got that weedy smell a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hopefully I get that down. The plan is the pasta is going to need like, is it eight to nine minutes? So probably like 10. And I think within 10 minutes, I can do the rest of the stuff. Okay. So it's going to be a speed pasta creation where everything happens at the same time. Do you have faith in me? I will. I, will, I need I will, your encouragement. I will hide behind here, okay? Safe distance? Okay. All right. So I'm going to pre-drop some oil where the, um, the sauce is going to go, just a little bit I guess, and where the salami is going to be fried. Just a little bit. We don't want the salami too oily. Get it started? Yeah. Okay. Let's get it started a little bit here. Start it high and then I'll move it down a little bit. Now, my dad always did this. I'm not sure it's proper practice, but he used to put salt and a little bit of oil like in the boiling water for yeah, the boiling of the pasta. That. Let's just do that. He had some pretty good cooking practices. Just just a dab of oil, just so the pasta that flows around while it's boiling doesn't stick to the bottom. Not really for any other reason, I don't think. Okay. Let's get some stirring utensils here. I need three anyway, so it's fine. Okay, I think I'm ready. Which one do you use for the pasta? This is the fancy one for the pasta? Oh, it's over here. Okay, the fancy one for the pasta. Okay, get this thing here so the mess is minimalized. If you're hoping for no mess, you're out of luck. So, especially me. It's done yet. It's done yet. I don't know. When we boil water for the, uh, the soups that we make in the blender, when it starts doing like the boiling noise, it's like done. But it's been doing that for like a few minutes now. Well, that's just a lot of water. Just a lot of water, yeah. It's good enough, stuff. Yeah, it's probably good enough. This thing goes up when it's done, when it thinks it's done. Do you think I can like use magic here? Okay. One more. It worked, see? It's fine, I'm gonna cut this out. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's great. I'm gonna do that out. Sure. Okay. Normally we would use a hood, but uh, yeah, it makes too the sound much noise is gonna be videos. really bad if we don't use it. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be fine. Okay, I think that's good enough for the water. Alright. Basically, I'm just going to eyeball how much pasta we're going to put in there. Okay, well that might be enough. Enough for two people. Okay, well that might be enough. <laughs> I'm cooking here, okay? Sure. Okay, okay that's probably too much. I'm going to have to add a little <laughs> bit more water because it's not fully submerged here. Should be good. You just want to stir it every now and then, even though we put oil inside, it's still going to stick a little bit, so you just want to keep it moving from time to time. Uh-huh. Okay. Next up, we got to start blending. This thing shouldn't take very long, but I do want to cook the sauce as well. So, let's go here. Hmm. I'm not too sure. I think I'll just free it here. I think that's pretty good. Do you maybe want to cook the sauce in a small pot instead of a pan? No, because we're going to put the sauce on top of the pasta separately afterwards. Okay. We're not going to cook the pasta with the sauce again. That's how we usually do it, but I don't think I like that. I've seen it in restaurants lately that we've been where the sauce is clearly just poured on top of the cooked pasta mm -hmm. afterwards. And I think I like that better. I have okay. thought about that quite a bit. Mm, but... All right. Okay. Sure. So this is intentional. That's kind of full. Uh, yep. Do you maybe want to use a small pot? No, I think it's fine. Okay. You're the chef tonight. Yeah. Only the camera woman. I know. Okay. Looks like it's boiling. Looks like it needs a stir. And the more I'm looking at that small pot, the more scared I am of it. I think I might have to adjust that small pot a little bit. 
But why? It looks so nice and full. I know. I got the quantity <laughs> dead on, right? Okay. It does smell nice now that they're boiling pasta. Mm. Okay. Yeah, let me transfer that to a pot. I'm thinking I'll just put it in like a... Like one of these, maybe. One of these? Yeah. Should be I good. I think so. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I haven't turned it on yet, so the thing's still cool and hopefully easy to to move. Oh, it's so efficient. Yeah. Okay. I think we lost some of the oil in the process, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, let's get that started too. I think that we just want like cooked a little bit, it doesn't have to be crazy. Let's put it on like six, that should be fine. Where's the most important part? Uh, all of it. <laughs> oh, that! Okay. <sighs> Alright. I think I'm gonna need a cutting board for this though. Okay. So, you gotta cut these a little bit if you're gonna put them in pasta or something, but originally what I used to do with salami is I used to fry them in the pan and then drop eggs on top of them. So if you're doing that, you can just leave them whole. Oh. Did it hurt? Press it? No, that's fine actually. Okay, it does smell oh my good. God. Okay, just want them separated and stuff. Can I have one? Sure. What do you think? Mm. Mm hmm Is it good? Very good. Very good. Good. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. I actually don't remember what the time was when I put it in. It doesn't matter. We'll try. Mm. We'll see. I mean, you might want it more at the end of the line, but the time. I think we're at about six or seven minutes right now. So we're kind of on the clock. Let me stir this thing here a little bit. Put that over so it gets a little bit faster. Right, let me get the plates out. Because we are going to have to plate this. Oh, we're doing plating too? Uh, just... Just to put it somewhere. Mm. We're not going to eat there. I hope not. You don't want to eat there. It depends on how tasty it is. Oh, it doesn't pass the, the kitchen <laughs> island, it doesn't go to the table. Is that the pass? Mm. Are you Gordon Ramsay? Uh, no, I think I'm not, I'm not yelling enough to be Gordon Ramsay. Or cursing enough. I just want to get the oil everywhere because I want to put the salami. There are moves there. Those are, those are some pro chef moves there. Yeah, sure. Okay. I like how you say it. The idea is no overlaps. Overlap. Okay, I just overlapped that one. But only, only light overlapping. Very light. That's the only kind of overlapping that's allowed. Okay. And it's done when it has like a very specific smell and you know what that smell is and it's not the burning <laughs> smell. It's the one before the burning mm -hmm. smell. If you have the burning smell, you've left it too long. And there's another pro tip. Come back here. Come back. Come back. Come back. Uh, there, there, there. If you run out of space, you just like stick it on the side because the salami is naturally oily. Whoa. It'll cook anyway. Whatever. That one's that one's a lost piece of salami. Okay. Amazing. I know, right? Pro tips, guys. Pro, Pro tips. tips. Oh. Pasta jumping. All right, all right. I'm taking care of you here. How's the sauce doing? Probably not very well, but it's covered and it's fairly high. Can you show us? It's just bubbling a little mm -hmm. underneath. Looks good. Damn, I lost my piece of pasta. Oh, it's like the most scary part of cooking pasta. So? I think it's very close to done. Okay. It's on the al dente side, but that's how I like it. 
the sauces behind, my timing on the sauce was a little bit off. Switching pans and everything kind of threw me off a little bit here. Mm, it's so pretty. Is it? Yes. So I'm waiting one minute on the pasta. I think the sauce has at least five, and I think the salami has like five, so... It's a little bit mistimed, but I think it won't be too bad. I think the pasta might cool off a little bit, but the hot sauce on top will warm yeah. it up again, so... Hopefully it won't be too bad. Okay, so I think the pasta is finished. I really hate overcooked pasta. But I know. If, you, if you add a lot of sauce and stuff, oh yeah. I complain a lot at restaurants. Restaurants overcook pasta a lot. They actually yeah, make the they, pasta in the morning and the reheat it a earlier. second time. It's terrible. Alright, so basically I'm going to dump this in the sink. And I'm going to pour the pasta bowl over it. And most importantly, I know everyone hates it. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to wash the pasta after because it's got all the flavor on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So don't don't pour water after you pour the pasta out. Don't do that. Okay, just let it settle down. We don't it's want it boiling when we pour it out. We slipped. Can you try to get this shot? Yes, I'm trying to get this shot. This is the money shot for pasta. This is this is what pasta tries to do here. It tries to make it into this thing here. So you want to pour it out. Actually, these are really deep sinks. Okay, let me try to get there without spilling too much. Okay, very good. Not bad. This one is so... Need some stirring, probably. Bubbling a lot. You can stir it without uh, opening it in. That's I'm good. I'm gonna sneak a shot. This is all it's... No right. sneaky shots. Sizzling. Oh, look at this one. Yeah? Okay. Let me... Let me use the, the thing here. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> What? What is doing? <laughs> this is this is dripping everywhere. Chefs only care about the food, okay? <sighs> Trying to get the proportions even here. But we're not even. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You always eat way more than me. Okay, I'll put a little bit more on my and just spread yours out so it looks the same. Okay. Expect it to be that water. Tomatoes have a little. Thing. Yeah, but when they make tomato sauce, don't they use tomatoes? Yeah, you can uh, just let it. Uh, See, it's quite watery. Mm. Yeah, if you want it to not be as watery, you can let it um, boil mm. with the, uh, the lid open. Okay, well, I don't think I, I want to risk pouring it with this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a ladle here. Can I get the, the salami poured in the sauce? Uh, yes. No, the sauce would be over the salami. That would be the idea. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit of a thin sauce, it seems. That's not quite according to plan, but hopefully the taste uh, makes up for the viscosity. Mm -hmm. It's gourmet. We can't waste any. And the salami is actually just about done. You can kind of see this one. That one's like done. Okay. But some of the others are not fully done, so let's just give it another minute here. You know what you have to do? You have to you have to uh, also make them pretty. You have basil back there. Oh, this thing? Yes, and you're supposed to cut a few leaves and then wash them because they're not washed. And then put them into plate. You're gonna so cut that out, right? It's my idea. <laughs> That's the gourmet part. Mm -hmm. Well, no, we want to put that after the cheese, right? Yeah. After the cheese. Parmesan like, likes to clump up a bit, you know? You gotta give it a good shape. Okay. So, the strategy is you wanna lean it to one side and push them out of the other side so you don't get too much of that oil. Get all the tricks, guys. All the tricks. Mm. Oh, that smells really good, though. Does it? Yes, it does. Okay. There. So, what do you think? Uh, one of them is amazing. Oh. 
Mine, right? Uh, sure. The other is just incomplete. Oh, oh, it is incomplete. It is, it is. Oh, yes, Th it. that was why it was incomplete. Let me show you. <sighs> Amazing. You get the double. Can you show it again? I know you like this one more. There. <laughs> wow. Amazing, guys, amazing. Should I hold them up? Let me get a money shot. Oh god, that's heavy as fuck. Oh, I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> oh god. Thank you for pudding. Okay. I'm sure you will be great. Let's eat. Let me get you a little bit of everything. Let me get you a salami with a sauce type piece of pasta with the cheese. It's actually very good. Okay. Yeah. Rate me. Be honest. 9.5 out of 10. Wow. I think, yeah, the sauce needs to be a bit thicker. But it's very tasty. Very, very tasty. Let's eat. I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs>